apparently folk are still with this Telfar uh, bag thing. Uh, people are all trying to get it. And apparently the capture, the capture thing where, you know, you have to find the street light or find the crosswalk. Apparently the capture for Telfar is ridiculous. And somebody tweeted, so Telfar's capture situation is harder and more varied than the SAT and ACT combined. I have never had a Telfar bag. I've never tried to get a Telfar bag, but Nikki and Dr. Uh, Butler apparently are Telfar experts. So y'all can, all right, go ahead, bring in. I tried phone. to get this bag this morning and I need to tell y'all, I, I, you know, like I got fast internet. I'm like, I got really fast internet. I could not get in. And then I finally had a little one because I don't really need a little one because I'm not, you know, I'm a nice size, right? So I don't, I don't care about that. I would give it away. But then I got to the end and then I couldn't get it. Okay, because it was already was it sold. sold out. What? Oh, it was sold, sold out. out. That was number one. But number two is you got to go through, you know, the capture thing. So they had this crazy capture thing where you had to draw a cat and do some other mess, right? That was really nuts. And people were spitzing over that. So this week you had the, you know, where they have the nine blocks or the 12 blocks and you got to look at something. So I had to figure out how many motorcycles were in the picture. And I'm like, this is so small. Like, who you think looking at this? A gnat? I mean, like, all I want to do is get a bag. I just, you know, I, you know, is, is it this hard? I mean, I'd rather, I, it's easy for me to go online and go buy, you know, a really nice Gucci or, you know, you say Laurent or whatever the mother bags are, than to get this little, you know, 250 bag. I, and it's a nice looking bag. But I mean, I, I'm kind of like, I don't know. Is this worth it? Is it worth it, Nikki? Well, I have six. So, <laughs> so look, you know what, Nikki? Of course, you, Nikki, of course, wow. I'm gonna jab you in your first. You coming on here with some with some zaddy, and now you're gonna tell us you got six bags, not one, but six. So, but the thing is, I started getting mine. I know, please don't judge me. So, no, I did give one away for a birthday present. I bought one for a friend because she was having difficulties. So I, I was able to get one. I gave it to her for her birthday. She loves mm-hmm. it. But I was able, I was like in the beginning with Telfar, um, like when before you had to do your SATs to get a bag, yeah. um, before the, you know, the, not the scammers, but the people who, the resellers not were doing resellers. all not that stuff. stuff. Yeah. So like I was in the beginning stages, like, you know, when mm-hmm. it was becoming, it was a luxury item for Black women at the height of the pandemic. We were like, we really ain't going outside. Let's treat ourselves. So I was buying them because I was like, I'm gonna look good at my desk with this bag. And one day when the world opens up, I'll have them. Um, so I did try to get one this morning. And like uh, Dr. Butler was saying, like I needed like blood work and my SAT <laughs> and also my vaccination card. And I was like, you know what? It's just not, I, I got enough. I don't need any. I even got one when he had the Oprah drop on Amazon. People don't know really? that. He sold them on Amazon for maybe like. He sold them on minutes. Amazon too. I missed it. I, you know, I, I came to this a little late because, you know, I'm gonna make a confession here. I'm kind of a long shot person. I really like their bags for different reasons because they hold up pretty well and stuff. But, but you know, this was a bag. I thought this might work. This could be a nice tote bag or a travel bag when I start traveling again. Yes. I liked it because it was clean. It had good design. I'm just like I. You know, I want to support a brother, but I'm kind of disappointed. I I mean, you know, like, what about, what about us older ladies who want a nice bag, who got cash? I mean, like real cash. I want to say, I mean, like, I'm not trying to, you know, go out in Miami or something like this with this bag. I'm just trying to go down the street, you know? (laughs) This goes to what we're saying. Now, this is part of the reason why I want to stay on for this conversation is because so often we have to support our Black businesses in the early stages before, you know, the Beyonce's yeah. or the white people who, you yeah. know, have clout. And then, then it's so difficult to get it because now all of these big co-signers are supporting yeah. them and now everybody wants it. But, you know, you have to support them in the beginning because you just never know. And now, exactly. like... I can switch it up. And people are like, oh, you got a gold one? Well, I thought you had the black one. Wait a minute, that was green yesterday. And I'm like, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I agree. All right. Where where do you get them though? So like I'm I'm seeing what? there's so many websites and no, I, so I got mine directly. I am straight, direct. I support black businesses. What, that does not yeah, change. Yeah, but what's the website? Like I'm I'm tell on far, right far. Yeah, tell oh, far. you have to get on your email. F A R put on your email. Yes. Yeah, I mean it's a beautiful bag. I mean, wait, I, I support this wait, brother. Time out, I time out. It's invitate like he has to have my email and then let me know. Like no, this is you a- have to. 
um, you'll get to email ahead of time when the drop happens. So he uh-huh. only sells them at the time and you have to like get on your email list. So he'll let you know right. like, hey, can they sell out in minutes? And before- so let's, talk about, let's talk about the marketing of this because it's Thrive yeah. Thursday. There's yes. something brilliant about a pleather bag it's pleather, mm-hmm. y'all. It's pleather. It's, pleather. it's a pleather bag that he sells for two hundred dollars. A pleather bag, and sells out in minutes because mm-hmm. of the demand. Because you can only get it when he tells you it's on. That is so freaking brilliant. Yeah, that it's, I can't even express myself. Now there are all of these websites claiming to sell Telfar bags because I was just mm-hmm. on one and I was like, this don't look legit. So you got to be, you, you got to be careful, right? Yeah, yeah. You could go get it. You know, there's sites that people buy and all this. And I think one of the reasons that we, we should explain the capture thing, the capture thing was about making sure that these resellers who buy up stuff and have bots, you know, you can get a bot that looks for stuff. Like I have a bot that shops for me that tells me when things go down. So when it, you know, when Neiman Marcus or somebody marks something down, I can go in there and just go get it. Now it doesn't work as well as I would like it to work sometimes, but it'll wait, tell wait, me. Wait, doctor, doctor Butler just dropped. Where do you get a bot? I'm like, yeah, I, I, I don't want to give out some names here, but I, I'm gonna put it in the chat to you, and you <laughs> and, and and you can you know that'll that'll yeah, look yeah. that thing up, and you can you can click on what you want, and it'll tell you when it gets marked down. So this is how a lot of people shop. This is how you see people who don't look like they ought to have money. They got stuff because they know how to shop. You, sometimes you can't wait till the end of the season. You yeah. got to wait till when you get to 20% off or 25% off, then you buy it. But the Telfar bag is, is different because he's never going to mark it down. That's that's cool. That's number one. That's great marketing. Number two, you 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 have anticipation because you got to get up. So I was up at 830 this morning thinking I'm going to get this. It's going to be at nine o'clock. You know, this, this happened also with the uh, body sponge thing. That's a whole other thing that just happened. The Sappho body sponge. You got to get on at 10 o'clock on Saturday, Sunday morning to get a body sponge just to wash your you know what. Uh, or you don't get it for that week. I mean, this this is kind of good. I keep thinking maybe I should do this in the classroom. You could get on at 10 o'clock on Sunday morning and, and get the notes for this week or else you don't have nothing. I like the on-demand marketing. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait, wait, you're on to something though, Dr. Butler. <laughs> I like that. I, like yeah. me, I got to sit with that one for a minute. Oh, we go ahead, Nikki. No, I was gonna say I like the on demand. I was having a conversation. I don't know where you all stand on the Kanye part, but the marketing and involving the consumer because with the tough art, he's involving the consumer in the process. Like people are mm-hmm. tweeting out, like, oh, the red bag is about to go live in about five minutes. I'm at the computer. Then other people are like, oh girl, what you gonna do to get yours? So the consumer engagement around it, like his marketing technique is just the email and then posting people with their bags and saying, yeah. hey, and then the email is building from that. You're letting the consumer be the testimonial in real time, which has people like Dr. Butler up at 8.30 prepping. Um, trying to, to, trying to get paid. And then when they don't get it, you know what happens? They take it to Twitter. I didn't get one. So now engagement is up again. Because one, if you miss the fact that there was a drop, you're like, oh man, what color drop today? I missed it. Or you're like, let me sign up for the email list so I don't miss it again. I love it. I think it's brilliant. Yeah, I love the email it. list. <laughs> this this makes trying to secure the bag a whole new kind of phrase. <laughs> and I, you right. know, I advocate for black women. So tell far, you want to send me some free bags? So I'm out here amping you up. Please do. Uh, listen, if y'all want to send one to a, a poor professor over here at the University of Pennsylvania, Wait, I will wrap right. this bag everywhere. Poe, po? come, come on, Doctor Butler, <laughs> come on, stop it. <laughs> Let me do what I got to do, okay? If I got to pretend like I'm, oh, then I'm going to act like it, but I'm not. <laughs> you know, I'll contribute some money somewhere. But y'all, come on, give me give me a bag, like a nice black bag. The ox blood would have been nice. The ox so you know, I don't want no green or pink or none of them funny I colors. The green one's nice. You're lucky we lied. I would go get all my bags. Yeah, I just, you know, I wear a lot of black in the wintertime. <laughs> I just want some, you know, I just, you know, this is hard. I mean, this is like trying to get with a, get with somebody that's so damn popular. Like just you know, help me. Well, you, well, well, you are revealing a lot today, Doctor yes. Butler. And I'm here for it. I, I am. Here for it. I'm, maybe I'm trying to carry something in from that other body store in my bag somewhere. I see what you're saying. Okay, your but you, you need to big the large one for Zaddy. You can't do the medium or the small. <laughs> Look, I don't know. Zaddy is a little much for me. I think I'm gonna just tell y'all. Okay, that that, that was a lot. Hilarious. Lindsay's here. I like. <laughs> cobalt personally I have like the little cobalt one and then a big yeah. black one but okay. what I want to say is that like I feel like there's a lesson that we can take and that we should never underestimate that 
where Telfar started, like in New York and Queens and being supported yes. by the black and queer community and how those communities and the intersection of those communities supported yeah. Telfar throughout this whole time up until now. And as you said, like people will just post on Instagram and he will repost, they will repost everyday people posting about the drop. And it's because of that engagement with the people who were there in the beginning um, yeah. that, that they are right there now. Man, this is this has been enlightening. Um, since we're, Lindsay, you didn't have to pop out, but- <laughs> no, um, that was good though. It's what she uh, said was really it was, important. No, it was powerful. Also, it was powerful. Um, we, we talked yesterday about Beyonce and Jay-Z and them and, and Tiffany, which is a, the other end of the spectrum where Telfar, black man from our community, built from our community, Jay-Z and Beyonce from our community, built from our community, but now they're taking it, taking our culture into a space that don't, they don't even hire black people at the highest level in any wide numbers. Yeah. Why are we giving them our goodness is my question. And then bringing, uh, you know, a great artist like Basquiat into yes. that, they don't deserve that. Well, her mother was very upset about us criticizing her for all of this. And I just would like to say to Miss Tina, you know, you have sold your children so much to us that, you know, this is not the first time nor the last time we're going to be upset with her, but she'll do fine and she didn't have to pay attention to it. But I was really turned off by the campaign. I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't, you know, I looked at it. I just thought, what is this supposed to mean to me? I'm not really quite sure. I mean, we had a pandemic. So this, so what that she's the first black woman that wore this diamond that they dug out of Africa that they didn't give any of the profits to any of the black people that live there. Hello. You know, I mean, these, it's all these mixed messages you get from Beyonce all the time. And I, as a, as a fellow Texan, I just want to say one thing. It, I am really proud of her in one way, but in another way, I'm disappointed in her because she, she tries to do too many things. Like if she had an African album and that didn't sell any well, so now I'm gonna wear this diamond and I'm gonna pretend like we the bourgeois, the black bourgeoisie with a basquiat and I'm gonna do this, you know, pure love campaign where you made a whole album about this man cheating. You know, I'm just like, what, what am I supposed to get from you? I don't understand who you are. I think you're just something that you map things onto because it looks like it's commercially profitable, but no one knows Ooh. who you are. And, and and I know that this is really this is some I'm gonna get all the Bayhive in my in my comments probably. No, you won't. I think it's, it's the really Karen Hunter show. I mean, not, outside yeah. of Drew McCaskill, you're not gonna get a whole lot of pushback. No, no, that's good. Yeah. I mean, I think I think it's really important to realize that this is somebody who has monetized herself to the hill. Great, I'm happy about that. And I know it's Thrive Thursday and she's thriving, but I don't understand who this person is because every time it's like some new message and I. I don't know. Are you really black now? Or did you go from, you know, doing the whole thing at Coachella to, and now I'm gonna look like a white woman in this picture with my husband, you know, with them, you know, whatever his lock's supposed to be looking like right now, but I don't Basquiat. know. Basquiat. I think that's Basquiat. his Basquiat. Basquiat. I'm like, he's cosplaying Basquiat. I, I'm like, Ooh. dude, no. I'm not, a, yes, I know you were sitting up here like, I can't believe he is cosplaying. This is like a, this is like pretend for him. And I'm not with it. I don't care. And then she was quarter French in that uh, makeup commercial. Anyway, yes. So here yes. we are. Yes. Uh, and you at at Anthea Butler, Professor Butler is here. Dr. Butler. Uh, Nikki's scared to talk because she don't want none of that. <laughs> be talk. Be I don't care. Be beehive. Smoke. But be you know even that beehive smoke. Um, y'all y'all um, whoever you are, you know you can love somebody, but everybody has you know they're up for scrutiny if they're not doing right. We should. That's challenge. right. And can I say one more thing here that I know is going to light some people up? This is why Be this is why Rihanna can lay up in her bed and sell out her perfume at night and then get up in the morning and eat caviar and don't care. Oh, okay. Because, because, I mean, it's it's the difference in how you message, right? And, and I think, you know, whoever is advising them is not advising them very well. And I think it's time for her to take a step back and think about what it is that she's trying to sell right now because we ain't buying it. And none of us care that this Tiffany Diamond is happening. We just don't. Nope. Uh, not for the culture. 866-801-8255. Nikki, you got anything to add to that? Nikki's like, oh my God, I'm getting off of here. Oh yeah, I have to prepare. I'm part of this Protect Black Women panel. So I'm gonna go prepare Okay, goodbye. <laughs> All right. <laughs> she put a church figure up. She's like, I want none of this. Like, I'm out. So you can buy from a black woman. Up. 
Yes. Make sure that you're black right. owned. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Nick. And, and Fenty is, by the way, up oh, shade. Hey, thank you, thank you, Nikki. Poor shade, poor shade. black woman die. Oh, she got out quick, Doctor. She Butler. got out quick. You know that's that always makes people sweat, doesn't it? I don't know why. I don't know, but I don't, last I looked, Beyonce is um, moderate, moderately um, educated and does not walk on water. Now, I like her, but she is not better yeah. than, in my opinion, uh, not a better performer than Janet Jackson was. I'm just saying, you know, if, uh, you know, so not better than Michael. Um, She's good. She can dance. She's not a better singer than Mariah. I said it or Whitney, definitely not yeah. Whitney. So, I mean, yeah, she's, she's, I love Love on Top and, you know, her birthday song. Yeah, Love on Top is the best song, I think, honestly. See, you know what it is about Beyonce, though? Yeah, I will say one good thing about her. This is the best thing about her, I think, is she is the hardest working woman ever. So when she puts herself to something, she really works very hard to perfect it. And I think that's something that she has a work ethic that is amazing and about how she thinks about her craft. But I do think what that lends itself to is a kind of um, a routinization, a, a way in which you don't look like you're real. And you got to have some room in there for some kind of real emotion. I think the last time that happened was Lemonade. Mm. I, I like the documentary on her um, doing the whole, you know, that the yeah. HBCU. That was, that uh-huh. was, and okay, that's where yeah. we really got to see her, you mm-hmm. know, just yeah. having a baby and coming back. Yeah. It was no, amazing. that was real. That, that was yeah. real too. That was yeah. very real. But I think the rest of this, this thing, I don't know what this Tiffany thing is. I, yeah, you know, I just like, do black people even work at Tiffany over the counter? I, I mean, last I, time I, I was there, uh, last time I was there to buy something, uh, I think uh, one of their uh, security people followed me around. Oh, so see, just, that's what I remember. Eight six six eight, or maybe that was Gucci. Eight six six. That's why I don't even shop anymore. Yeah, no, nobody needs to be followed around. Let's take a couple calls. We have a guest that's coming in as well. Uh, let's go to Adrian in New York. She wants to tell us how she got her bag. Oh, why? Hi, Adrian. Hi. Hi, Karen. Hi, Dr. Anthea Butler. How are you? Hi. Good. How are you? To say that I got, I'm doing well, thank you. Hmm. I got my Telfar bag, and the reason I got it really is because I became very purposeful in how I spent my money based on something you said, Ms. Karen Hunter. And you explained one day that you asked the question, why are we putting all our money and our value in other families that are not going to love us back? So why are we giving all our money to Gucci, to Louie and everyone? Mm-hmm. So I purposely went out and started looking for companies that I could put my money in that are going to back me up. And when I heard about the Telfar bags, um, I tried to get one. I was up there at 830 and, you know, sneaking yeah. in at work, trying to get the purchase in and it didn't happen. But they have something called the bag security drop. And for two days, you can go on and order your bag, but you won't get it for several months. So several weeks ago, I got my large back black bag. It's larger than I thought it was. Ah. It's beautiful. It's wonderfully made. Comes with it in a in a little bag to store it in, and it's wonderful. And it just makes me feel good that I am putting my money behind us. And I'm so impressed with him and how the whole company that he has, how they pro- just do the bags and how they get the word out there. And it makes me feel good that we are backing us. So I thank you, Miss Karen. Oh, thank oh. you, Miss Butler. I, I thought I was a little too old to be playing Telfar games, but I feel good about it now. You, know what? you made me let's feel stop, better. Yeah, let's not put an age on the yeah. stuff that we do. You like a nice like, bag? You like a nice bag. You like it. You know, uh, but yeah. I, I'm like she told me about the bag security drop. I got to figure that one out because I, I can wait. I'm, I don't have a problem. I love it. They're dropping information on the Karen Hunter Show. Let's yeah. go to Shinoa in California. Hi. Hi, hello, 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 ladies. Hi, hi, um, I'm calling from San Francisco. Um, I I got my Telfar bag starting in 2017. Um, I, along with my mom, my grandma, uh, my aunts, I was able to get all of us a bag. Mm-hmm. And I kind of got mine for the same reason, because I am trans, I'm proud of it, and I want to support someone who supports my community, and he is a part of the community. And oh, when cool. I got my bag, I got the mini and like the, um, the big ones. My grandma, she wanted one to go to the bank run. And then my mom was like, <laughs> well, I can't be the other one out. And so my whole entire family, we all have them. We have them in black. I have them in orange and pink. And then uh, when she, when he was on Wendy Williams this past June, um, he like became really big. But now all of my younger cousins who I had been telling them they should go on the Telfar bag hike, but they were on the Gucci and Louis Vuitton. They're now all like doing the drops, but always missing it. And so I sometimes like to be in a space and wear my bag when I see them. Like, <laughs> I feel like I should have got it in the beginning. Oh, I love um, it. Yeah. That's the reason why I got mine. 
this is the this is the move I was looking for, you know. Yeah. And this is what makes Beyonce and Jay Z so wrong, you know, because there's so many brands out there. You know, we had Vite London on a couple of weeks mm-hmm. ago, black man with a watch company. We talking mm-hmm. about Rollies. Why? Why? Who is Mr. Rolex? I don't know him. Yeah. What is I he know, putting right? into the community? I know the brother um, William is doing work and sending people to school in our community. I know he's out there funding different things in our community. I don't know what Mr. Rollies doing, but I exactly. know what Telfar is doing. And this is important, mm-hmm. you know, so let, I'm so grateful. And thank you, Shanoa, for sharing that. Let's take one more before we go to break. Michelle in Houston, where they rap a lot. Your backyard. Originally, yeah. Dr. Butler. Hi. Yes, ma'am. Hi, ladies. How are you guys doing? I just want to say I've been waiting on my Telfar bag. I don't even remember how long ago. <laughs> Haven't received it yet. My birthday was May 17th. I paid my last payment then. My daughter received hers this week, but she had ordered hers about a week or two before I did. Mm-hmm. And it's very nice. And also, I want to say to Dr. Butler, thank you, thank you, thank you for saying everything that I have been saying about the Carters, and especially Beyonce. And when I say stuff, nobody says anything. People just look at me like I'm crazy. Thank you. You're welcome. (laughs) You're welcome. And you know, I know in Houston, that's a hard thing to do, right? You can't say that out loud, but I'm going to put this out here. She'd love to talk to me. I'm happy to talk to her anytime. Anytime. <laughs> I, I do it for free. I don't even want no money. I, I'm just like, darling, you know, it's 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 past time. Them rodeo clothes ain't gonna make it out here in the world. I can't wear them assless chaps. Okay. Oh, baby, it's you. 